All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house. And today I've got the Ruiki P128SF here with me for a quick maintenance video because maybe I think we can improve a little bit the action of this guy. So let's see if we can uh, actually do it. Um, we're going to use two T6. Uh, uh, we're going to remove, sorry, these two T6 uh, screws from... Very interesting. I think this is Loctited. This is not. But this one, there's a pin right here. And this one kind of looks like, so very stiff. Comes off, but it's weirdly stiff and uh, um, it's good that we have a non-spinning pivot on this side over here. We can just maybe push it a little bit like that. And this bad boy is out. G10 backspacer going on. Then we're going to have to change this guy. Take a T8 for the pivot screw and just unscrew this. Looks like this is keyed in. This looks like an impression, but Let's see. All right, pivot is out. Uh, let's check this out. That's interesting. So there's some uh, internal milling going on to save weight. Uh, this is the mechanism uh, like uh, which acts as a over travel stop bar and as well as uh, uh, it's gonna prevent the lock from unlocking. So that's a very, very good uh, thing. Still, there's some weight to it. And of course, we have uh, our blade with these greased up um, ball bearings, which are caged in a plastic cage and greased up probably a little bit too much, I think. That's why the action wasn't uh, that good. So. Let's just take our time and just clean up these bearings because I'm pretty sure that we can improve the action of this guy a hundred percent. That's my hope. And uh, let's see, let's just clean up all this area, the tang of the blade, uh, like so. We can just have it here. And here we just push out this guy. And let's see, maybe we can just use the tip of this uh, bit in order for us to just clean up this pretty thick grease, I have to say, guys. This is a thick one, which is it's not going to have these bearings uh, running uh, smooth at all. And that's why the action was kind of like, not gritty, but it, it wasn't smooth for sure. So let's see. If that's the case, we're going to use some uh, nano oil. This is nicely cleaned up. And this, by the way, is, was just brand new. So this is likely how you're going to uh, receive the uh, knife if you buy a new one. And then you've got your keyed in or D-shaped uh, pivot uh, with uh, the other pivot, which is like a rubber gasket kind of thing it's might might be like a just a rubber washer but uh, nonetheless let's just uh, put this guy back together so uh, we're gonna need this guy over here and then uh, these is keyed in from uh, let's see which side uh, actually none so it's fine. This guy goes here like so. Right? That was the first one. So yeah, this guy goes here like from here. Right? Oh no, maybe I'm doing something wrong. So maybe they go in the back. Yeah, because this is keyed in like this for sure. 
and this actually is keyed in from this side for sure so they are like that so let's get this ready okay we can keep it like this then we're going to use the stop pin right over here so this is going to go in the front okay like so because it's keyed in only oops only on one side so it will have to go only on that side so we can have it like this guy can be down facing down this guy can be like facing down and then you just hold it like this good because we have to start from this side then we've got one bearing in then we're gonna use some uh, 10 weight uh, nano oil uh, right over here for this bearing like one two and three and then we've got our blade in like so uh, stop in which is not keyed in so it just goes like right up there like so we should be good to add the next uh, bearing like so one two and three also good we're gonna do the detent ball after and uh, we're gonna have the backspacer right in we can just give it like a little clean up like so I mean it's not dirty it's just gonna help remove any residue going on and uh, this guy is in place like so then we only have two actually uh straighten this guy up a little bit because this is uh, going to be aligned like so yeah so to do that we can just leave everything like that just get a couple of tweezers and just make sure that this guy is kind of like aligned like so okay and then like this we are going to make sure this guy goes in and everything is lined up. We can maybe move the blade out of the way a little bit. So this looks, everything looks like in place. So let's just do uh, the pivot first, like so, just a little bit so everything will stay just firmly in place you switch it t6 in then this guy is going like here like that exactly and this guy is going in like this very good we're gonna tighten everything in a bit I can already tell you guys that uh, this action is nothing oh now it's spinning okay that's interesting before this should be keyed in but it's it's not a biggie not sure why it's spinning so then uh, this guy let's see okay let's do it blade looks maybe a little bit a tad just off center like this is beautifully centered with no blade play okay now we're gonna add just a little drop of 85 weight nano oil on the detent ball because i feel a little bit of grittiness on this action just a tiny tiny drop right over there just to spread on the tag of the blade and uh, let's check this out so okay that's interesting action has actually improved look at this it's very nice guys 
I mean, that grease was just uh, was just ruining the action of this guy, which is not bad at all. Look at this. I think, guys, we have improved the action by a lot. So there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned.